What's happening? So just so you know, this video was filmed back in March. Actually, maybe February. Right before the quarantine hit. All right, hi everybody, John Meadows here, and I'm with new IFBB Pro Nate Epler from the great state of Indiana. <laughs> it's a lovely drive to one, get here. One state over. <laughs> one state over. <laughs> so Nate is getting ready for his pro debut in 10 and a half weeks. The Indianapolis Pro, which is a new show. Uh, which is pretty cool that there's a pro show around here. Yeah. Um, so ten and a half weeks out, we're going to hit legs today. Uh, the workout I'm going to take Nate through today. This used to be one of my favorite workouts in about 2012, 2013. A lot of the people watching this who've done my old programs, they're going to see you doing it, and they're going to be like, "Oh yeah, I remember that." <laughs> so we have a lot of fun in store. Um, what's your Instagram? Uh, my Instagram is ifbb underscore Nathan underscore Epler. All right. So we're going to get to work. So you've seen, you've seen me do a lot of cluster sets. Today we're going to do it a little differently. We're going to do it on a leg curl. But instead of doing both legs at once, we're going to do one leg at a time. So normally I rest like 20 seconds, and then I go again. Basically you're going to take the time that you're doing one leg to rest the other. So you go one leg, then you go to the other leg, and while you're doing the other leg, the other leg rests. So you just basically go back and forth. This is still a cluster set. I don't particularly think single leg curls are that much better than two legs at once. I just want to do something a little different today. And as I mentioned, um, we're, do, we're you know, going to do some of the stuff I used to do in the old days. So uh, that's what we're going to do. It's kind of a, like a mini three sets in one. I call it one set. Some people call it three sets. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. It just matters that it's a hard set. So that's what we're going to do. Here we go. This is nice too if you have a strength imbalance because one leg can't make up for the other leg. Big squeezes. Get really close to the tail. Not all the way up there, but get close. That's it. That's it. Switch. Switch it up. Squeeze, big squeezes. Big squeezes, come on. Big squeezes. Keep rolling. Good. Good. Okay. Come on. Big squeeze. A lot of tension. A lot of tension. That's it. Come on. Good. All right, here we go, let's work. Come on. Come on, come on. Now let's do some force ones. Keep going, I'll tell you when to stop. Six, keep going. Seven, keep going. Eight, two more. Nine, one more. 10, there we go, switch legs. One. Two, three, come on, four, come on, we're gonna go to 10. Five, come on, six, there we go, come on. Seven, three more, eight, come on, nine, last one, 10, there we go. So in that, basically what we did is we did a bunch of warm-up sets uh, and then we did our one cluster set, so. You only need to do one of those. You don't need to do more than one. Um, and I threw in some extra force reps for Nate just to kind of up the intensity a little bit. All right, so we uh, worked up to uh, one really hard set. I'm getting ready to do mine. Uh, important, some important points. 
once we did our first two warm-ups, we lowered the reps so we didn't fatigue ourselves on the way up. We also took our time. Again, I know I mentioned this a lot, but when you're doing your base movements, uh, your real heavy progressive overload movements, take your time. There's no need to rush. We want, the, we want to really load the muscle fibers. So uh, on your last heavy set, you're looking for seven, eight, nine reps, somewhere around there where you really have to struggle, but maintain perfect form. Uh, we're using a spider bar today, as I mentioned earlier, and this camber makes it very difficult. If you get sloppy with your form, it'll actually swing and it can actually bury you. And this bar is really, really heavy. This isn't a 45 pound bar. So this is a really good load for me personally. Um, I'm guessing I'm gonna be, again, I said between six and nine reps. Success for me, what that looks like is I leave maybe one rep in the tank. Because remember, I don't wanna to go to complete failure on an exercise like this because of risk versus reward. I don't wanna get hurt. So as long as I'm going hard enough to where I'm only leaving maybe one, maybe two, but probably one rep, I'm good. That's what success looks like on this. Oh, here we go. Jeez, let's go, old man. Let's go. Big set. Come on. Yep. Good control. Come on. Squeeze. Yep. Come on. Yep. Ah. Come on, keep rolling, keep rolling. Let's go. Ah. Yep, come on. Ah. Good. Hoop. Get up. Ah. Good. Come on. It's all you. All you. Big push. Ah, one more. Yeah, come on. Ah. Squeeze. Up. Ah. Good. Good ah. Okay. Control. Control. Those big legs, come on. Good control. Yep. Excellent. <clears throat> Let's work. That's it. Yep. Let's work. <clears throat> control. <clears throat> Good. <clears throat> come on. <clears throat> Good. <clears throat> come on, tight, real tight. Up. Up. Good. <clears throat> Good. Up. Ah, two more. Okay, here we go. Breathe. Tight. Up. Yep. Come on. Come on. Up. Up. One more. I go. got another. I got another. Okay, tight. Real tight. Come on, way up. 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 There we go. <clears throat> Hell yeah. Did you get ten? Nine. Nine? Hell yeah. All right, so we're done with our squats. Now we're moving on to the pendulum. Uh, I used to use a machine called a true squat machine back in the day. You don't really see those anymore. But the point is, is to load in a deep position safely. So this allows you to get deep and stretch your quads. People talk about how do you really stretch your quads when you train? This is a great way to do it. So I'm gonna do one. We did one lead in set already. And now we're gonna do our first work set. It uh, doesn't take much weight on here. We only got three plates for our first set. Um, but the, the key is the depth and to get really close to failure now. Give me a 
grab, don't grab it. So we just finished our cluster set here on the pendulum. Um, if you want to know more about cluster sets, click on the video above. Uh, I think you'll get a good idea of kind of the benefits of cluster sets and why we do them. That's tough. Now it's time to move on to something that all you uh, folks that have been with me for a while, you're going to recognize this. We're moving on to the sled drag super set with the leg press. You guys remember that? Ladies, you remember that? A lot of pain coming up. Whatever you do, don't stop. Drive. Drive. Glutes and quads. Glutes and quads. Stay low. Stay low. Come on. Keep going. Come on, let's go. Grab your heels. Grab your heels. Come on. Ten weeks. Oh my gosh, I'll tell you when to stop. Come on. Ten weeks. Ten weeks. One, two, and done. Good. Catch the wind of motion. Fill them full of blood, man. I want you to get the craziest pump you've ever had. Deeper. Deeper. Come on, deeper. There. There you go. There you go. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. We'll go two more. Eleven. Okay, twelve. Stop there. Stop there. We're done. Okay, we're going to do the drag with the sled. And then we're going to go right into the leg press. On this drag, get down low and drive with your heels. It's glute and it's quad. But stay low. The key is to stay low and don't stop. If you stop, it's really hard to get it moving again. So, here we go. Come on, driving, 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 let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. go find that depth, let's go. Come on, push. Push, come on. Let's go. Come on, come on, I got you. Come on, up. Yeah, come on, drive. One more. Come on, you got more, you got more. Come on, come on. Oh, so this is a little calf special I really like. What Nate's gonna do is 10 full reps. He's gonna hold the flex at the top for 10 seconds. So I'm gonna talk you through this while he's doing it. So 10 reps right here. Nine. Now you hold it for 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, go. Now you do 10 more. Now you're really starting to work the bottom now because you get fatigued. As long as you're working the bottom, it's good reps. Okay, now we do 10 again. Eight, seven, six, five, four. He's holding the weight up. Three, two, now final 10. One, two, three, four. Just move the weight. See, he's still stretching. Seven. Okay, here we go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and done. That's a set right there. That's very, very painful. I want you guys to try two, three sets of that. If you've never done before, probably only one set. 
Um, this is not like a typical workout I do all the time. It's just a little bit of a shock for his calves. Um, I guarantee you they're on fire right now. So nice little, nice little bit of calf work there. Yeah, let's stay, let's stick with just two sets. All right, so we're going to do a little video now. Look at how Nate looks. As you can see, he's got tremendous shape, tremendous balance. Uh, big shout out to his coach, Matt Kuba. I always like to give everybody the respect that they deserve. Nate's done a phenomenal job. Matt's done a phenomenal job. Look at the shape. Look at the V taper on his double bicep. Look at that double bicep. Look at that lower ab, serratus. He's even got the, de the detail, serratus. Now hit that uh, front lat spread. Nice detail in there. That's a beautiful, beautiful front lat spread. His legs are jammed full of blood. You can see the pump in there. <laughs> Can't flex him. Let me see if you remembered your side chest stuff from yesterday. I want to see if you remembered how we did it. So let's see. You guys that know my pose, and you're going to be able to see here. Okay, he's got his toes in the right place. His hands are hanging. Back lat. Good, good. See how square this looks? He's got his back lat out to create that width. He's gripping at his wrist instead of too high up. That's making him bigger. And he's lifting his chest to look thick. He's got his hand stuck in his side. Phenomenal right there. Now that's 10 weeks out. You're already in great condition, man. 10 weeks out. Oh, yeah. Crazy for 10 weeks out. 